Today we're making cottage cheese chocolate chip cookies. Now these are gluten-free, they're dairy-free depending on which chocolate chips you use, and they're egg-free. These soft and chewy cookies are packed with protein, sweetened with maple syrup, and best of all, they're guilt-free. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make them right after my chef joke. What did the fisherman say to the magician? Pick a cod, any cod. So we're going to start off here with some cottage cheese. This is going to give our recipe some protein and some creaminess. And we need to put it in a blender because we want to blend it up nice and smooth. Now we're going to sweeten up our cookies using maple syrup, which adds a nice caramel flavor to the cookie. Vanilla extract brings out some nice sweet flavor, so we're going to add a little bit of this. All right, we'll place the blender on the motor and get it mixing. You want this as creamy and smooth as possible. So we'll mix this probably about 20 seconds, 30 seconds tops. And it should look like this. Now in a separate bowl, we're gonna combine our dry ingredients, which is starting with some almond flour, vanilla protein powder. Now to get that perfect rise in our cookie, we're gonna add some baking powder. Then we'll add a little salt to balance out the sweetness. And don't forget you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. Give that a good mix to distribute all the ingredients equally. And then I'm gonna pour the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. Then we're gonna add some unsweetened applesauce. And what this is gonna do is gonna kinda replace the egg that we're not putting in this recipe to keep it nice and moist and hold it together. Now sometimes when you mix up your batter, it depends on how much liquid is in your cottage cheese. This turned out a little too runny for cookie dough. So I ended up having to add another cup of almond flour to this to get the right consistency for the cookie dough. So add a half a cup at a time of the almond flour to the mix. Keep stirring it until you get a nice thick cookie dough consistency that looks something like this. Now we're ready to add those chocolate chips to the recipe. You can use any kind you want, milk chocolate, semi-sweet, as I'm using here. It all works. Now just fold those in. Now because there's no raw eggs in this recipe, you can go ahead and give it a taste anytime you want and as much as you want. All right, let's preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and we're gonna place our cookies on a parchment paper covered baking sheet. Now because these don't flatten out much as they cook, in fact they don't flatten out really at all, you're going to want to flatten them out or smash them just like you would the like button if you're enjoying this video. You can use a spoon to flatten them out or a fork or even your hand or even a small glass. And we're going to bake these for 12 to 14 minutes or until they're nice and golden brown. It must be time for chef joke number two. Why do peppers make such good archers? because they have an arrow. <laughs> Here are our cookies after 14 minutes in the oven and they look and smell incredible. I'm just gonna set them on the stove here and let them cool for about 10 or 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna remove them to a wire rack. You can store the cookies in a Ziploc bag on your counter for about three days, maybe four, and they'll last about a week in the refrigerator if they're tightly covered. And you could even freeze them. These cookies are soft and chewy. You're gonna love the flavors. And you get that perfect blend of sweetness from the maple syrup and the irresistible chocolate chips. And the best part, you can feel good about indulging in these protein packed treats. If you love chocolate chip cookies, then you might wanna try out my chickpea chocolate chip cookies. These are amazing too. So if you're a big fan, check it out. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe. Did you enjoy today's video? If you did, let me know by smashing the old like button, all right? Leave me a comment and we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.